everybody it's evictus time to lead radio the binding of isaac victor repentance series happy monday mosh pit hope you all had a great weekend and going off to a great start here on your mondays i know mine is because it was just a fun weekend overall we had lots of pokemon breaks lots of people stopping by the stream for baltro and isaac and just a overall good time so we're still waiting for another video to cross 3,000 likes but obviously with the weekend lull that's bound to carry over and uh, we'll be picking it up probably on this episode or maybe tomorrow we'll see here's your meme of the day brought to you by painter dnd w40k title of thread was episode 1013 the 4d ex experience he, he spelled the he spelled experience wrong but that's fine too because obviously i love this meme because yes indeed the 4d experience memes still keep on flying on reddit and uh yeah my disappointment is immeasurable my day is ruined i do like all the filter effects with the 3d stuff and the popcorn flying everywhere and the chairs just just being just being an absolute nuisance thank you painter and everyone who upvoted that one hop on in and get rocking and rolling starting off a brand new week here in isaac uh c day is going to be juliet juliet 27 delta lima for quebec we got uh well, we got sharp key and hive mind along with the child leash which is going to keep any and all uh, followers very close to us. We also pick up anemic, which, yep, it's certainly a thing. Uh, I mean, like anemic never really does anything for me. Like, so what happens is if you get hit, it's going to drop down a creep, much like tainted La or regular Lazarus uh, when he's resurrected, and it, it does a pretty good amount of damage. But the thing is, is that like it's very easy for enemies just to, you know, not be on creep. And there's so many ways for enemies to deal, to avoid ground-based attacks in this game that I'm not going to say it's useless. It's just not good. <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying that it's not good. There's also a golden key here. Now, this does not mean we can use our sharp key infinitely. At least I don't think anyway. The sharp key, it, it does deal a pretty, pretty decent amount of damage. The problem is that it's limited by how many keys you have. And obviously, early on, you're going to want to have those keys in droves, right? Because you want to be able to open up those golden chests. You want to be able to open up everything that you can. Would love to get, if we can, get jumper cables. Because early on, that could be pretty big. See, here we can use it to open up uh, secret rooms and super secret rooms. Although, that was not the super secret room. And we only have three keys left. i take another risk here. And, okay. Okay, so hang on now. Hang on. Hang on now. We ain't, we ain't done yet. Uh, I am going to go back and uh, get this bomb, and then maybe we'll get lucky here with a nickel and a whole bunch of money out of the donation machine. And I think that will do it. So very big-time play there. Able to get jumper cables on the... I mean, it costs us a bomb and two keys, but, you know, it was, it was worth it. So jumper cables is going to give us a charge on our space bar item every single time we kill 15 enemies. Uh, now, obviously, Sharp Key doesn't have any charge, so it's completely useless right now. But it's a it's a basically a future proofing move that, that we can use, and just it's always going to be good, right? You know, it's just like money equals power. It's always it's just always going to be able to assist you in the late game, mid game, early game, right? So you might as well pick it up. Same thing goes for Hive Mind, really. Hive Mind is going to increase the amount of damage that we have from flies and spiders uh, by a whole lot. And uh, even though it doesn't have any benefit right now, any tangible benefits anyway, it is going to help us out greatly later on if we end up getting Guppy or if we end up getting Rotten Baby or if we end up getting, I don't know, Compost Car Battery, something like that. Get Blue Cap, which is fine. Um, unfortunately, there's no... I would love to use that Womb Room, but there's just nothing for us to do. So check out this Alt Path door real quick just to see if there's anything in there. And there wasn't. Going on to last week's question of the episode, uh, we had the most upvoted comment coming in from Mrs. Goudreau. I hope I'm saying that name correctly. I'm probably not. Uh, they asked, I had to rewind, or sorry. Um, it was a question of the episode. That they actually posted two comments right next to each other. That's the reason why I started reading the other one. Uh, Mrs. Goudreau, 76 said, question of the episode. I noticed you've been taking Gubby's tail a lot more recently. What is the deciding factor for you whether or not you take that item? So the biggest thing that determines whether or not I'm going to take Guppy's tail is how many keys we have at the present moment in time currently right now at this moment. Um, it is slightly influenced by whether or not 
we're on like an early floor because if we're on an early if we're on an early game four, most likely I'm not gonna be taking Guppy's tail. Most likely. Now I realize that in the last couple of weeks, um, you know we've been seeing Guppy's tail and I've been taking it. It's a calculated risk just because like I'm trying to get Guppy, obviously. But overall, do I think that Guppy's tail is good? No, no, I don't think it's good. Um, it's only good if you have the left hand, pretty much. So you have to be very cautious of the key. Uh, of the lack of keys and obviously your key consumption is is very high. It's about probably the highest it can possibly be on any given run. Um, but to answer the second the second question, the second part of that question, what is the determining factor? That's basically the biggest thing is just the, the amount of keys that I have. Do we have a way to, to maybe produce pickups, for example, like the Book of Sin? Or do we have like Fanny Pack or something like that? You know, anything or even Glitter Bombs. Anything that can help us out and possibly curtail the amount of keys that, we, that we're that we going through is huge. Um, if we don't have anything like that, then it becomes, a, it becomes a very easy choice for me to not take up his tail, right? Great shot there by uh, Whoop to Whoop. Whoop obviously better than Sharp Key here because we actually get ourselves a rechargeable item. And you saw us get a double charge there from uh, from clearing a double room. I take out the champion just because I don't feel like dealing with them. So we pick up Mom's Eye here, which is going to... Or Mom's Contact, I should say, which is going to uh, freeze enemies. Anytime you shoot out that red tier, it's very, very good for crowd control. And overall, just a, just a super, super duper item. I have one, one chance to buy a Soul Heart, and we do get it, so I'm pretty happy about that. Also have a charge on uh on shoop to whoop now. People were lamenting that I wasn't saying shoop to whoop every time I've been using it lately, so I've, I've been forgetting about my 10% 10% damage upgrade. We all know that Isaac listens to you, so yeah, use that microphone for good. It's always terrifying when something charges in Isaac and then they freeze. Because you just don't know where they're gonna go. So, tears rate's very good. Damage is okay, I guess, because of our tears rate. But, uh, yeah, we need more damage, and we are able to get some immediately here with Synth Oil. And speaking of a guppy item... So, I'm going to take Guppy's Hairball, even though it doesn't necessarily help us currently. Um, I would love to take Dark Prince's Crown as well, but we just simply we can't do it safely right now. It wouldn't activate anyway, although I, I do like Dark Prince's Crown to a certain degree. Uh, right now, we're just going to have to play a little bit conservative. And, uh, yeah, let's just stay safe here. Now, somebody else on last week's episode, which was the Fortune Favors the Bold episode, um, was, they asked, uh, how come I don't take duality when there's seemingly no reason not to? I talk about options, that sort of thing. Aren't more options better? I've, I've, the reason why I didn't cho choose that one as the question of the episode for this episode uh, is because I've already answered that many times. Um, and people were, it, what's funny is that people were actually answering for me, which is even better because that just shows how many people have been watching so long and they just kind of know me. But to reiterate what the, what that question of the episode was, and let me, I'll just, I don't want to be disrespectful here. Uh, thank you to uh, Spanish Armadas for asking the question about uh, duality. Um, so the reason why I don't take duality 99.9% .9 of the time is because I, I, that HP that I could spend, that one HP that I could spend on duality, I could easily use for a devil deal that I'm going to take anyway. So if your question then shifts to, well, when do you, when are you going to take duality? What's like the best case scenario for you? It's when we have a lot of life. If we have a lot of life here, um, and uh, we can afford, and we're like kind of set on damage and stuff, then yeah, I'll check out the angel deals. It's fine. But more often times than not, and I would say way more, I would say way more often than not, I'm going to take the devil deal anyway. So there's not really in my mind a point to take duality when I know that I know for a fact, I'm just going to take the, I'm just, I'm just going to take the, the devil deal anyway. Um, you know, and you might think that, well, it's only one HP. It's not that big of a deal to, to at least get like the bar, the, the bar of entry with duality, which is, that is true. Yeah. It only costs one HP, 
But again, unless if I have the glowing hourglass, that's another scenario where I would take duality. It just, to me, it doesn't line up in terms of why would I, why would I use an HP for an item that I know I'm just going to ignore anyway, right? You know, and who knows what we could do with that one red heart. We could, we maybe find a demon judgment in a womb room. Um, you know, maybe we find Dark Prince's crown. That, that, all that stuff, it's... It, Isaac is not a game that you can break down in, in two dimensions and be like, well, if you didn't take this, then maybe this will happen. And it, it's never clear cut like that. Um, there's always going to be other contributing factors into you. There's always going to be a snowball effect, right? And that's the best way. You know, we talk about like the Isaac butterfly effect and stuff where you take, you, you take one play and then you extrapolate those possibilities of saying, I, what if I didn't take this Dark Prince's crown? What if I had this HP? You know, could we have played this Demon Judgment? And that's the level of complexity, if you want to go that far, of course, with Isaac that you can get. Now, I'm not saying I, that I think like that all the time, because obviously I'm not, a, I don't have a min-maxing mentality. My point is, is that it's okay to not take duality. It's okay to take duality. In other words, just play however you want. <laughs> um, I think that duality can be useful. I just, I just most, more often times than not, we're going to be looking for offense. How do you get offense in this game? You get devil deals. You know, you go for, you go for guppy. You go for anything that can give you a really solid tier effect. You know, and, and this inevitably someone always is going to point out like, well, you've got sacred heart. Yeah, you've got sacred heart, but how often do you see sacred heart inside the angel deal? Right, you don't see Sacred Heart that often. I don't believe that they're. I don't think the Secret Room's there. We, I'm trying to get Steam Sale here. Yeah, it's not there. How do I know the Secret Room's not here? Because this is this wall is inaccessible by walking. We know that it's not there. So really, it can only be at the top of the elbow over here. I do kind of want that sack, but it could be here, which I'm pretty sure that's where it is. We know it could be there, I guess. It could be. No, I can't. Okay, so this is the most likely wall. I just have to go for triple confirmation. Yeah, this is it. And then the super secret room. I'm not exactly sure where that is. Okay, so we get a bomb. Uh, a nickel would be very happy. Yeah. Still trying to get, if we can, get Steam Sale and maybe even this uh, Soul Heart here. I couldn't remember if he was a Penny Eyed Keeper or not. Obviously, we're going to be able to get this. We're going to be able to get the Soul Heart regardless of us getting enough money for steam sale but the play here is to try to make steam sale happen okay, we're two cents short really didn't want to have to go all the way back over here for this and unfortunately we don't have any way of getting these coins here unless we get another fly item then we have we'll have bls above then we can just simply fly there I've done pretty much everything I can to try to get, try to get this last uh, penny, last two pennies here. It's really unfortunate that we can't get into that. Uh, we can't get those like what fourteen cents or whatever. I think the super, super secret room is to the left of there, but I'm going to use this last bomb to see if we can bomb that keeper in the shop and hope that we can get steam sale. And we could also go in the curse room, but I'd prefer not. Checking for fires real quick here. We are wasting a lot of time. We had a we had a good pace, and then we've really slowed to a crawl here on Caves 1 just because of this back and forth here. We have just barely enough to get it, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to buy this, the Soul Heart, but that's okay. Oop. Good damage there with Shoop. Got to get a move on here. Okay. So base damage, very, very good right now. Oh, I got stuck on the rock, man. 6.64 damage with a 3.90 tears rate is excellent for where we're at right now. Um, that gives me hope that we're going to be able to catch back up to boss rush if we can. I'm hoping. Hoping, hoping, hoping. It's actually better to take out those grubs, in my opinion, even though the bomb flies are kind of 
you know, annoying and dangerous. The, the grubs in this room, especially at the beginning here with this door that we entered in, they represent, they basically cut off this screen in half. As soon as you walk in, there's three grubs right here. If any one of them charges at you, you have nowhere to go except backwards. So they're really trying to usher you in towards the bomb flies. But if you destroy the grubs, then you don't have to worry about the bomb flies. Ooh. And you know I'm going to take it. Oh, mama. You know I love me some card reading. Card reading gives us a very, very good chance to catch up to boss rush. Now, I know for a fact, well, I guess I don't know for a fact, but I'm 90% sure that we're going towards the, the boss right now. Of course we are. Shoot. Come here, chub. So we can either use this hermit car to go back towards the shop, or we can just skip the item room entirely and go to the next floor, try to catch up with that lost time that we had in Cave 2, or Cave 1, which I honestly don't mind that play as long as we can guarantee that we get boss rush. But we got to get some HP here, too, because like we're not, we're not invincible here, and we failed at 73%. All right. Okay, well, this is going to take us straight to the boss room here, and I'm not going to pass that up. Unfortunately, as with most guppy runs here, we have to wait until floor five before we get our next chance at a guppy item. And that's the big problem with missing out on a devil deal on floor four. Some much needed movement speed here. Our second syringe, and it's going to be Brimmy. Really don't need little brimstone here. We we need the HP more. So sorry, Brimmy. We're gonna use the uh, we're gonna use the hermit card here. We're gonna take nine volt. The nine volt guarantees us that we get to use shoop to whoop in every single room now, which is pretty huge. It freezes there by mom's contact. We went, we went all the way backwards. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that. Multiple shots there. We get spoon bender, which is huge for shoop to whoop as well. And I tell you what, the we're getting some major mileage. Okay, never mind. Spoon bender apparently doesn't affect shoop to whoop. We get some major, major mileage out of that early, that early game play of us taking car bat, of us taking a, not car bat, but jumper cables. We saw it the first time game. I don't mind losing the red heart there because we can use the soul heart to protect the red, the bone heart, in hopes that we do find a another red heart that we can, uh, you know, we can just, we can just get it filled back up. That is a little bit strange that Shoop doesn't, it does not synergize with, uh, with Spoonbender. I thought it did. And the rock over there, but unfortunately we don't have a bomb. <laughs> bomb? Ooh, but we do get Nose Goblin. I'll take that. Um... It was a little short-sighted of me to use that Hermit card, especially with us possibly getting a red portal here, then we can guarantee that we can get out of boss rush. So now we're kind of at, we're, we're kind of at the mercy of us making sure that we get the full card, but we've, we've definitely caught up in, in time here. So we should be able to get boss rush and that'd make it worth it. Okay, so we did not get the red portal, which takes us to the boss. And uh, not that we would have taken it anyway, because, again, we have no way of actually exiting mom's mom's room. So quick shot there by that turret. 
Mm. Yeah, you're seeing here the, the clearing power of, of Shoop. Even though we don't necessarily have, like, the best damage for it now. Because, like, yeah, our damage is still good, but it's not, like, overpowering we're unstoppable damage yet. We're certainly getting there. And if we end up doing a victory lap here, which I don't know if we're going to or not, um, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit iffy on a victory lap, but it really just kind of hinges on what we do with this floor here. Absolutely use our only bomb for a golden chest in here, and yep. But we can fill the rotten heart anyway. Now what's nice, or the bone heart with the rotten heart, what's nice about this is that because we have hive mind, um, those flies that we produce with the, with the rotten heart are going to be mega, mega powerful. Which is the reason why us getting guppy was kind of important, but I think we all know how that's going to go. Looking for the full card here. We still have a decent amount of time. Mm -hmm. We get an eternal heart, which is nice, but hoping that we were going to find. All the red chests with the guppy items and stuff. We didn't. Again, there's no reason for us not to use Shoop here in every single room. Okay, so now it's starting to get a little, mm, little iffy. We gotta, we gotta find that fool card now. I'm only doing that because I don't feel like demon, dealing with the demon fires. Come back for the shop after, but. Looks like the game knows what we were trying to do. And seemingly put the pool card in the most obnoxiously furthest away point possible from the boss room. We still have not found it yet. In the last room, you betcha. How does he do it? How does he do it? It is peak Sinvicta luck right there. Got to book it all the way back here to the boss, which we still should make it. The extra flies at the beginning, even though there's only two of them, will help out a little bit. Very weird way to stop Mom's foot there with Mom's contact. Now, this is a great matchup for us here with Blue Mom is because, obviously, we have the car, the uh, jumper cables. And she spawns a lot of ads, which means that we have more chances to get more shoot to whoop charges. Um, Boombender, are you okay? Is it me, or do those shots just stay in the air for a ridiculously large amount of time? I uh, will take the Book of Sin. Or Book of Sin. I will take Goathead. Not going to take the Book of Sin. And, yep. Yeah, that certainly is a boss rush. All right. Boss rush kind of kind of bummed me out a bit. Worked hard to get to, get to you, and we skipped a lot. We skipped one item room. And, uh, Steam Sail into a... Greed fight. A story that is old as the day is young. I don't know what that means, but it sounds it sounds like some kind of prophetic wisdom. It doesn't make any that doesn't make any god dang sense. No, Hank. Okay, well we've got Guppy's eye, but we're unfortunately probably gonna get bounced to the spikes. No, we didn't. Look at us. All right, so two or three for Guppy here. So there's a chance that we get the Gupster. Hive mind. I still don't fully trust this run, though, because we, now we're going to transition into the late game. And, uh, yeah, with only four HP, technically five, I guess, and really not great movement speed, this is going to be... This, this is going to be interesting.
Curse the blind. We don't we don't have to worry about devil deal chances because we have the goat head, so. Problem is that we can't take any items for this floor because of Curse the Blind. We we do not take blind items. Unless we know what that item is going to be. Then I guess it really wouldn't be a blind item. It would just be a item that is obscured. But we do have to be very cautious here. Again, our lack of mobility and our lack to our, our lack of being able to mitigate shots here through our mobility is uh what's a little bit terrifying. And we don't have enough HP to just YOLO it and just send it for a devil deal, a blind devil deal item. Even though we're only one away from Guppy, it's just there, the the odds of us getting a Guppy item at this point are not good. There you go. So as soon as we get a full charge on Shoop, we can just run it back and just send another one. And again, that uh, the jumper cable play is really paying off in droves for us. Good damage there with the hive mind assisted flies. Those goblin doing some good work too. Pearls. The only one worth taking here, if we were to take one, would be the double. Be the double uh, HP one because we know that this is going to be a higher quality, a higher tier item than the other two. Hopefully, it's nine lives. was not now I know what some of you are thinking Zedicta, how come you didn't just take the two you have a better chance with two items of being guppy than one yeah I mean you do have a better chance by like a factor of just one extra chance that you're gonna be able to get guppy but the likelihood of a two heart devil deal helping you if it's not a guppy item is much greater than a than two one heart devil deals right so even if it didn't turn into a guppy item we know that we're getting a higher quality higher tier item than what we would have had by going for two one heart devil deal items because we're not just looking for guppy we're looking to trying to improve the run immensely here so the surefire less gambly approach to that would be just simply taking the the item that we know is going to be good for the most part anyway i mean i don't, I don't really like i have a cult but it is what it is i have a cult at least it's a damage upgrade and it does contribute towards the leviathan transformation right That's, that's what we can't have right now is getting chip damage left and right. Oh, wow. was just one big Isaac circle right there. At least we get our keys back here. I don't care about the the ring. Uh, yeah, this is the only one we haven't been. We almost got lit up there. We very lucky that was a proc, a mom's contact. What? I did not see what hit us there. I think we may have moved our shots may have moved in perfect sync with maybe the re the retaliatory strike i don't know get a double charge here on shoot but this is what i was talking about man like we're not we're not super safe here the upgrades great 
I mean, going here for the Rotten Beggar just to load up. I mean, we're, we're basically converting our money into hopefully an insta-kill on Mom's, Mom's heart. Oh, see, you got to stop. All I want is basic, just basic flies and spiders. This is what we want. We need way more than this, though. Don't really see me use the rotten beggars all that much. And we are going to play this to completion if we have to. If we had more red hearts, the rotten hearts would actually be worth it. But right now, they're just kind of, it's kind of not. I mean, we could take one now because we are going to get an HP upgrade. Oh, I didn't mean it from there. We are going to get an HP upgrade from the eternal heart, but I guess we'll take that. I'm trying not to lose too many flies and spiders here on our way to the the mom. Uh, yeah. And she spawned knights instead of the instead of the eyes, and they took all of our flies and spiders away. All right. So, if we end up if we end up getting guppy, it's going to be through the power of just sheer RNG at this point. Cuz there's no more devil deals unless we find a like a joker card or something. I mean, I could have I could have taken um I could have taken the sack altar and sacrificed Papa Fly, I think. Not Papa Fly, a uh, big. Whichever one we have. Obsessed fan. I'm not, I'm not falling for that again, Isaac. You got us one and done with that last week. <laughs> I'm not going to give you the benefit of the doubt you're going to teleport and then not teleport again directly right on top of us. Good damage there by Nose Goblin. Brother, you have no HP left. We got there. We got a red portal, so we're going to be able to go instantly straight to Blue Baby. And uh, we're going to take... I'm going to use the Yuck Heart. Might as well, because that's going to give us some more flies. But we got end up getting Beelzebub, too. He starts getting the mulligan. So at the end of the day, we almost got Guppy kind of got like a soft guppy but really what it comes down to honestly is that play that we had with the jumper cables and i know that it seems like i'm kind of self-glossing here but it it does play into the whole isaac butterfly effect like you know if imagine if we didn't have if we didn't have jumper cables here with shoop to whoop right that that didn't allow us to use shoop to whoop every single time that not only we got multiple activations in the room, but combined with nine volt, we get we get to have multiple multiple activations per room. So I love it. That's what I like about Isaac because you get to have those sort of like divergent plays that end up really giving you an idea of like you do one thing, the next thing happens. If we put us if we put ourselves in a bad situation because of a bad decision, who knows if that's going to turn into a blessing later on down the line. So. That's what's so great about Isaac, and that's why I still love it. So thank you for watching, everyone. A little bit of a shorter episode here, but I do appreciate all the support. I hope you have a great start to your Monday. And again, thank you for the questions of the episode. Keep posting them down below. Remember, I might answer more than one, so definitely post them. Don't be afraid. And as always, I'll see you all.
next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. Like, thanks to Page of Mind, like Riley Schaefer, Fred, and Katori you. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of the Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign. Or if you want to check out one of those exclusives Invicta keychains, head on over to patreon.com slash Invicta.